Hello friends. So I'm just working on a small project here and I had a sweatshirt on that I do not want to get paint on. So I just threw this, this apron on because I always think, well, I can do this. I can do it without getting paint on me. And we all know, we all know how that goes. <laughs> so I've got this on. I got this from Zebra Paint, the paint brushes that I talk about a lot on here. <clears throat> So I am going to, I'm just going to plug through uh, and just kind of show you what I'm doing. So we, I shared in a live uh, last week, some of the recent finds that I have found um, at thrift stores, estate sales, yard sales, while we were on vacation, all the things. And one of the pieces I found was, is this working? So I think it's like a child's lap desk. So it's got this great storage. Um, so when I got it, it was really, I have a before photo and I can share that. Um, I have, and if you hear anything creaking, it's the chair I'm on. But um, I have a before photo and it was, you can kind of see where there was like water damage. And so what I thought I was going to do was paint it or well, I was just going to use the restore finish that I talk about here on here all the time. I love that product and I always have it on hand and that's how I started and I sanded it down really well to get it smooth and in the camera it looks so much worse than it does in person. It's just not um it's not that bad but like here like in the sunshine and stuff it looks really bad. This is a small piece. I'm going to use it for storage you guys see if you guys can see and hear me i'll always say hello or where you're coming in from anything just let me know that this is working so um so anyway so i was going to try a new paint color on this and i thought i'd just kind of do it on here and chit chat with you guys so can you guys see this okay i don't know how to get let me just move some of these okay it's just these things from instagram that i can't get rid of okay so I'm just going to paint. So this has been, I sanded it down. Um, I tried the restore finish. It doesn't look like it does in there on the camera. It's really not that bad, but yet it's not great. So um, I'm not going, this is not a piece that I would sit down and um, like strip and refinish and all that. It's just not worth that to me. So I am going to paint it and everybody's going to be happy with that, right? <laughs> no, but I wanted to try these little projects. I was going to say too. Uh, I just found another wood stool. I think I shared this that last week. And these little projects, wood projects, like little wood stools, this little thing, they're great pieces to pick up just for if you're trying some new paint lines or you have some samples to try or something. Um, they're great just to, to try new colors. So I am trying, let me share this with you. I opened it. I shouldn't have done that before I shared it. So I'm trying this Wise Owl. I'm really enjoying the Wise Owl paint line. Have you guys tried this paint line? It's it's really, really good. I really like it so far. <clears throat> and this is the color Isle Avenue. Isle Avenue, and this is a quart. But look at, this is how pretty. It's definitely a creamy white. It's not a true white. It's more creamy white, which I really, really, really love. So I'm just gonna paint this right just right over this um thing now i like i said this has been sitting for days so it's 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 dry there's no um there's no product or the restore finish is not like wet on there and a piece like this i wouldn't necessarily paint the inside but since this is this question actually came up today so this is a good example of it since this piece is so dark underneath this white paint um and there's not really it's not really red or orange it's more dark brown or if it if it came off more black um then those are good pieces to distress and and i don't i won't use a primer with this because of the color underneath uh, is so dark if that if there's like some reds or oranges sometimes yellow I will definitely prime or do a like a stain blocking uh, primer first but this one I'm not going to and here's another tip 
because I am going to sand this and distress it, always use the paint in your lid first. You're usually gonna shake it before you open it and there's always tons of paint on that lid. So definitely use that first because I have done like, especially little projects like this, you can almost do a full project or at least, or at least get one, um, you know, one coat on with just what's in the lid. So definitely use that first. Helps clean out your lid too, because has anybody else um, maybe not cleaned the lids off of the, your paint, uh, paint cans and then tried to open it again another time and you can't get it open? Just me. <laughs> Even with like big gallon paint cans, it's, it's a good thing to do to clean off the inner lid and kind of inner, uh, just all around the cans. I can hear the kids outside. So, yep, I'm just gonna stop there for the top. So I'm not going to, because you can see that piece right here, I'm gonna paint that, but I'm not, I'm gonna leave it shut. There is an overhang, so I'm not going to paint it shut. See what I mean, like there's an overhang. I'm not going to paint it shut, but I don't wanna lift it because I don't, once you start going inside a little bit, then you've opened a whole nother can of worms and I don't wanna do that with this piece. It's just going to be a decorative piece that has some storage, so, uh, and that stain, and usually those stains and stuff, they don't bother, it was, but it was bad when I first got it. Uh, like I said, I will try and remember, maybe I can put together a, a short video or um, to kind of show you what it looked like before, but it was, it's, it's an older piece, it's all wood, and there's storage, so that's, so that's always good. Now, if you can see, you can see on the top, it's kind of, I do love it when projects do this because then I can show you. So that is a bleed through. So can you guys see the color on the top? And this is to kind of show you when projects, not all projects are gonna work out the way you think they are. Definitely not. So, so if this was, um, if I wasn't going to distress this, like I said before, I, I would definitely wanna put the stain blocking primers that most of these paint companies have will, um, will prevent that from coming through. But like, I'm going to try to distress this probably heavily, so uh, it it's not going to bother me, but that's what, a, that's what some pieces, some stains, some, um, and the this piece, they just, they're, they're gonna come through. My screen just went black. They're gonna come through. And so having those primers, they're so good. Uh, and I like to use the primers that if I'm using Wise Owl paint, I like to use their um, color blocking primer. Same with the top coats. I like to use the top coats from, from the brands I'm using. Um, but since I'm gonna distress this, I will put a couple of coats on this. There we go. So would you guys, would you have picked up this little piece? It was just, it was kind of in a, kind of an up, it, it was a huge thrift store, but not like your regular thrift store. It's like a, I don't know, it, it's, it just seems more upscale. So some of the older things that they have in there, there were some chairs I really liked, um, but they kind of had them just like and everywhere. They kind of had them priced high. So, and uh, so this, I just found this in like one little iron stone, uh, little, little piece. Other than that, I didn't find anything else in there. And we were on vacation and so I'm like, oh, that's just so cute. It has storage in this. Okay, let's get it. Anybody else when you're on vacation, you feel like you, okay, this is working, right? Okay, so definitely there is some bleed through and that's what I was going to say. Around this stain, whatever it was, it was really black 
and then it was like and then it was brown if that makes sense so what is coming through here is that black and I sanded it down smooth and even got some of that black away but that that is what's bleeding through so definitely if you weren't going to distress this but this is already dry well that is that area is so I'm going to kind of go in with another coat it's a really pretty creamy creamy white and even if you put if you think you know the bleed through is coming through you will put on more and more can you guys see what I'm doing here coats of paint and it will not it will not matter you could put on 34 coats of paint um, not only are you going to waste a bunch of time but you're also going to waste a bunch of product so um, definitely those color blocking and right now I'm just taking paint off because this is not that dry so I'm gonna have to wait darn it so I will get another couple coats on this when it's dry and then I always keep my my paint brushes when they're wet like this I know I have to come back into this project so I will over here I have some uh, like Ziploc plastic bags you can use like your your grocery plastic bags if you have those I've used those before you can use just plastic wrap I've even had bubble wrap laying next to me and used that in a pinch. So just, you just have to cover it um, and then you don't have to wash it out and have a bunch of water in your paint doing just these small projects. But I thought it was a lot more dry than it was. And if it's not fully dry and you're painting, like what I was doing here, I was going over it and I'm just taking paint off and then it kind of clumps and it's just, it's not good, so. So let me just make sure. Okay, I think this worked, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna hop off. I thought I was gonna be able to get a couple of coats on this, but I can't. It's too wet for me to put another coat on, so I will share it in stories or um, in a post when it's all done, and, uh, and yeah, this one just had to be painted. <laughs> okay, guys, have a great rest of your day.